Everybody, Tom's here. This is video two of the Chinese fir and cypress boards for the wall in my kid's room. As you can see, we have a good pile of wood here. Uh, we have three inch wide cypress over here. We've got just over seven inch wide Chinese fir here. Now, if you saw the last video, this is kind of what I was showing this is what it's going to look like. This is going to be pretty cool. Now, the wood is very, very similar in color, but it's just slightly different. So, again, we've got the Chinese fir down here. We've got the cypress here. I think this is going to look an amaz like an amazing wall. You've got the knots, which is really what I was going for. I really wanted to have these knots in there. And the knots are mostly on the Chinese fir. There's a few knots in the... Uh, the cypress here but i really want it on the chinese fur and i think it's going to make it really really pop so what i'm going to do i'm going to go ahead and run everything through the planter um the devault planter i'm just slightly under a half inch i believe yeah, let me go ahead and move it down more there we go now i'm just slightly under a half inch and i'll run every one of these boards through there they're all cut with the timber king set works and everything so they're going to be pretty dang close and I shouldn't have to adjust anything on the actual planer. Now, I'm not going to do this real time. I'm going to go ahead and put on a time lapse because it's just boring watching me run things to the planer because this is kind of a repetitive process. But I'll kind of show you some of the things at the end. Now, these boards were just cut like today, but I'm not too worried about it. The Chinese fur, it's actually a pretty dry wood. Um, it's very similar to like, I would have to say like a mixture between cypress and cedar but to tell you the truth they're both in the same family so whatever it's doesn't move a whole lot and everything and we're making this into board and batten and board and batten the good thing about it is if it does shrink on me i don't care because that's why we have the boards and the batten pieces on top of that to cover any kind of shrinkage and we'll be doing it the uh true method where i'm probably only going to secure it on one side so one side i uh, will have room to move so there we go. Let's go and throw in a time lapse. Uh, I'll figure out where we're gonna put the camera and uh, we'll run these through the planer. I've got a whole lot of mess to hit down here because I recently did some cherry stair treads uh, for a buddy of mine and everything. So I have a whole lot of cut off of cherry. But we did 13, actually got 14 stair treads. They were like uh, 11 inches wide, 38 inches long, and an inch and five inches thick. Beautiful boards. And I cannot wait to show the finished product and we'll do a video where I actually show the finished product. I won't show any of the making of, but we'll show the finished product because I'm really bad about showing finished products. That's why I'm doing this video so we can show the process from start to finish. If you saw the first videos to start and we're gonna finish it out in this video. Stay tuned. folks so that right there actually worked out pretty well there was a few times though when we obviously tapped out the uh <laughs> the thermal resistance switch and everything had to reset it uh this board right here was really interesting in particular because as i was playing in this i'm like you got to be kidding me i hit a freaking nail but then again i looked at it i'm like that's not a nail take a look right there that is a bullet doesn't look like much but that is definitely a bullet um it's a piece of lead 
sink my nail into it just a little bit there. But uh, yeah, hit a, uh, that's got to be like a little shard of a 22 or a 17 uh, caliber or something like that. It had like, it could even be a pellet from a pellet gun. But uh, yeah, interesting. You never know what you're going to find. I did not see that when I was looking these over, nor did I hear it when I was cutting it. But uh, we do have some lead there. Yeah, it doesn't really hurt anything. I, mean, I don't like to send a whole lot through there, but it doesn't hurt it in the least. So, the wood right here, I'm going to go ahead and put this inside my shop for a little bit. Uh, let it dry out. The cypress holds a lot more moisture than the Chinese fir does, but we're going to let this dry out. Uh, let this also, you know, smell amazing because it's going to continue to smell amazing for a while. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and install this into the room probably within a week or so. We'll see. So stay tuned. You'll see us putting this in. In fact, here I am looking at another piece right here. There's the other piece of it right there. Bullet. So, yeah, we, we split a bullet in half. <laughs> All right, we'll see you. Okay, folks, so we've shown the planing of these boards. It's been a couple weeks or anything. And now I'm going to go through, take my orbital here, and I'm going to go ahead and just lightly sand anything, any raised edges, because these have been drying here in my shop now for a little bit. I'm going to take these raised edges off. Okay, the sanding of the other pieces went very well, and then I, I still have to cut all these cypress pieces here to the right size. And rather than cut 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 of these, how about I work smarter, not harder, and use my beam saw to cut more than one at a time. Now really it'd be great if I actually had clamped these together, which I can do. Again, work smarter, not harder. Because I do have at least some of my tools in here. So let me clamp this sucker down. There we go. So now it's going to act as, as one body, quote unquote. And all I did is I put a piece. The other one on top, use my old uh, pencil there and want to cross. This should be nothing for this behemoth of a beam saw. Do a depth of three inches because that's how thick these boards are. Go from there. cut all these at once and save myself some time. Now I'm looking at these, I still have to sand these, but that should be pretty quick and easy because literally one pass with the sander. So I'll go ahead and do that. I'm not going to show that on time lapse because it's just like the first one. But uh, next will be the actual installation of these. Okay, folks, so this is the kid's room. As you can see, the paint scheme that we did is a kind of a green color. I think that this uh, Chinese fur and cypress will work very well with this. You can see over here in the corner, this is where we had the water repair. Um, and actually, just yesterday, finished piping it all in with all new PEX piping and everything. So we'll not have an issue because we want PEX. And also put a cutoff valve in the wall in case there's ever an issue. What it was is the outside faucet there had hoses attached to it and wiggle back and forth, wiggle back and forth. And the steel pipe that was there, in fact, I have it right here. 
the steel pipe that was there right here you can see I mean it was it was leaking right here at the bottom down here and just went all through that wall and everything so had to rip out a whole lot of stuff clean up the whole wall and we have since replaced it so I'm gonna go ahead and start putting the wall up on there I'll do a little time lapse and I gotta figure out how to do my outlet <laughs> so yeah that's still still to be determined so Okay, folks so it's looking good thus far I'm liking the way it looks now at the top I do have a little bit of high edge there and that's totally due to the fact that there's a gap there and I didn't think about that beforehand but that's completely fine because I have a piece that's gonna go across there don't mind the kids in the back that's just them everyday life here but I'm liking the way this is looking I think the colors work very well and everything else so I just winged it and I just kind of saw it's getting close but yeah it works out perfectly I'm gonna go ahead and take this out to the shop, cut out my outlet piece here, slab or throw it up there. I mean, could not have worked out better. <laughs> I'm loving it. But yeah, I think this is gonna look good. I'm I'm very happy thus far. Very happy. And you can see also on the wall, my youngest was, you know, I guess mama said, well, we're painting there and putting wood up, so have at it. <laughs> or maybe she just did it just because. Yeah. So let me go out to the shop. I'll cut out this little outlet box. We'll see how much further we can go. I think I'm going to be running short, but at least I can see what it's going to look like. And I'm very impressed thus far. So I've got the outlet cover here and the issue that we're having, which I thought about this too, is like, okay, that's not going to work on there because it's recessed in, you know, so far. Folks, I actually just talked to one of my buddies and he said, hey, I got a trick. He's like, take some, you know, copper wire that you have wrap it around a nail or a screwdriver about the thickness that you need and everything and then you could put that around your socket or not the socket where the uh the screws in for your outlet are and everything and bring it out from the wall rather than have to do a recess box so i'm going to try this i'm going to try to make both these the same size so there's one and all i'm going to do with this piece here i wrap it around the nail you know do a couple loops on it take it off and then we'll see what i can do Okay, folks, so that worked out really well. I actually had to call my buddy. He, he gave me an idea on how to make the outlet work out better. So I've got it pretty well. So I'll throw a little clip it in. What we did is we essentially took a nail, wrapped some copper wire around it and everything uh, in the casing, and just extended the distance of the outlet from the box that it's in and everything. Neat little trick that an electrician told him. And it actually works out very well and it made it recessed here so my kids can't you know try to stick their fingers in there and watch cute themselves so continue on i'm very and also in, impressed that just winging it i didn't have to make any of the special cuts it worked out perfectly so let me throw another time lapse on you'll see me finish up the last few boards i have and i can already tell you i'm going to be a little bit short but that's okay i'm going to at least get over to where the uh, plumbing section is and then I'll have to go from there. Okay, so I've actually gone through and measured and I went out and cut a few more boards and sanded them down in order to get the spacing that I need. I made one board a little bit wider than the rest. So you can see it's about an inch and a half or so wider 
but that will give me the spacing that I need to do my outlet. Um, so I've got a few more boards to put up. I'll mark out my outlet and everything. And then I've got my little end piece right here. And I'll barely have enough room to cover up this. But it's coming together. It's almost done. What we're going to do is we're going to have a board at the bottom, a board at the top. So I've got some leftover boards that are the exact same length, well, a smidge longer than the wall. I'll put those up here, and then I'll come back with another board like this over top. And I think it's going to be a neat little shelf. I almost make it look like a headboard, and the kids could put like, I don't know, little figurines or their derby cars or whatever up there. So let me go on and finish up this. I've got uh, just a little bit more to go. And uh, we'll be cooking with... Uh, Cooking with gas. So, <laughs> unfortunately, I am literally going to be off by about an inch and a half. So, I need to get out there, get one more board cut. And be able to slide it into that back corner. I'm going to measure it. I'm going to make it to size and everything. And then just put my last piece of trim over it. Yeah. It's. Yeah. It's kind of irritating. But actually. Hold on. I got one more trick I can try. I can actually put one of my other pieces there behind. I might be able to do something. Okay. So there you have it. You can see at the very top. Sorry, I'm trying to find where my hand's at. At the very top, you see the black coil up there. You see the white coil down here, and these are drywall screws. And what that's going to do is going to give me my offset off the actual box to where I can make this flush up against the wall. So give me a second. I'll put this on there, and we'll show with the actual cover on there what it looks like. But I'm very happy to have learned this trick because it saved me some money, and these, these outlets are going to be nice and tight. Well, folks, there you have it. This is the final product. I'm very happy the way this turned out. It looks really good. We took the headboards off the kid's bed and essentially made this look like their headboard. And I'm very happy. This is a very, you know, unique room in the sense that it's 12 foot wide and it's like 16 foot long. So it's a long room and everything, but it gives them a lot of, you know, a lot more room now. As you can also see, since why not when you have a sawmill, this is also... A black walnut bench that I made uh, a while back or anything with some hairpin legs. Very thick, very sturdy. It looks great here in the kids' room. And I just think this room looks awesome. But we went ahead and finished up the whole room. So you can see my wife did all the, the green painting on the walls or anything. And then we have the, um, I guess the furniture here, sparsely decorated as we're getting ready uh, to actually uh, sell the plot, the place here and everything. And... My favorite thing about this property though, I mean, we have just this amazing view out there. I mean, we called her Mississippi Mountain View in the distance there. Absolutely love it. So, pretty cool. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. But I really want to show this and, you know, finally showing some end products of what I can build and everything. And with this Chinese fur and the cypress, it smells great in here. It looks great. It's a very, um, let's see room of, of southern mississippi because both these woods grow down here and everything so it's pretty neat so again please like subscribe to the channel uh trying to grow the channel all the time and doing more projects like this as we get closer and closer to selling the house you know we're doing all sorts of stuff like this you know just to make the place better thanks